Okay, the first thing we do when we receive a microfogger back is to remove the fluid tank, which has already been taken off in this one, and then remove any coil. So we remove the coil. Now we'll have to take the coil base off. A pair of grips. And we've removed the base. So now it remains to get into the inside to find out what the particular problem is with this unit. For preference, I use a scalpel, but it's quite a blunt blade. It's been used. And on the corner here, we just gently go underneath. Don't pull the plastic back or you'll crease it. And gently pair back. And you will uncover a small screw under that corner. So we'll take that screw off. And then we'll do exactly the same in the other corner. Gently pairing it back, not bending the plastic too much. We can sell replacement front plastic transfer covers if need be. So we have the two screws off. There are only two. Next we take the screwdriver into the hole. I tend to have it facing towards me and I pull towards me and I can lift off the front cover and we have got contamination on the inside on this one where the um, fluid has leaked through so we'll put that to one side and we're going to clean all these components the next thing is we're going to go just under the corner and lift the printed circuit board up there are two connections underneath I find for this one, the battery one, we can just pull it off with a small pair of pliers and this one we release it and pull it out. So the printed circuit board is nearly free. Turn it to the edge of the table and with a small pair of pliers into the hole where the base of the coil unit goes and push down you will find that the whole coil unit comes out and you can see significant contamination on the inside there. So we can put that to one side. Now we have to take out the battery, not the fan, it's the last thing we take out. Um, and possibly small pliers just to unclip from the switch the battery. And holding both wires, we can pull upwards and we can remove the battery. And as we can see, there's contamination on the battery as well. The fan pushes away from you and then out. So that is the unit dismantled. What we would then do is we would have a small degreasing unit and put these items that can be ultrasonically cleaned into the degreasing unit. Before that I would use a small toothbrush and it looks like you'll ruin the printed circuit board but you won't and I will gently scrub any fluid from both sides of the printed circuit board and the base and we can quickly dip it in and then a piece of paper towel just to dry it once you've dried it gently don't rub across the printed circuit board or you'll pull some of these small components off dab dry both sides and then it can go in a warm room say for 12 hours 24 hours lithium batteries you have to be very careful just slightly damp and wipe it down do not wash lithium same with the fan a little wipe down on the fan taking off any of the 
material that has leaked inside. The fog fluid is quite harmless, but it is slightly sticky. It washes off your fingers with simple water. There's not even any necessity for detergent. What I would then do is I pop everything in to my degreasing unit and set it going and we've now got clean but possibly slightly damp components. Now we'll stop there and what we will do is we'll start um, again once everything's dry and we'll show you the reassembly.